Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. We're gonna push our problems aside because we're gonna have a good time together. We have two days before we leave for Florida to go pick up my sloth Drogo. I wanna give you an overall idea of where we're at, what we need to be in the next two days, and what our plans are when we're down in Florida. Obviously, we're going to pick up my sloth Drogo. You guys know that, it's pretty well documented. But also, we're gonna be making a trip down to Gatorland. These gators here that are definitely getting too large for this enclosure have been meaning to go back to Gatorland for quite some time so hey guys what are you doing what are you silly monkeys doing and I'm gonna miss them because I absolutely love my alligators here there's five big alligators look at this cheeky monkey right here yes I know I love you too buddy uh, but unfortunately they're just getting too big for this enclosure they've been too big for this enclosure for the last few months to be honest with you but because of all the travel restrictions and everything else we haven't had an opportunity to go take them back to Florida so we're gonna make our first stop down at Gatorland and Actually, we're gonna get five more alligators that are not that size, but are actually a little bit smaller, about half the size, that are like this animal here. So about half the size, maybe even less than half the size. So we're gonna go back to having six alligators in that enclosure, but what's gonna be cool is we're also gonna get six baby alligators for this enclosure here. So we're gonna have a total of 12 alligators that we're gonna bring back with us. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. And of course, while we're down there, we're gonna have a great time at Gatorland hanging out with my friend Savannah, and Mike, and all the guys down there. We're excited about that. So you're gonna get one vlog with us at Gatorland, getting the alligators as well as the fact that we get to have a great time down there before we head over to get Drogo the Sloth the next morning. And with us leaving in two days, obviously we've got to still finish a few things here in the sloth room. I'm excited about that. Later on today, actually, the ceiling is gonna come up. That's a little bit uh, nerve wracking because I have to somehow figure out how to get that up into the ceiling. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit challenging, but I think it should be really good. Tree has just a little bit of work to do yet. And I could tell that a couple of these branches are just a little bit loose. So I'm gonna probably have to screw some extra screws into these. Then Lori comes back and seams everything. Not only seams the tree, but also seams all the walls and stuff like that. So again, with only a couple days left, uh, a bunch of work to do, but uh, but we'll get this done. And, and again, you gotta remember, once the ceiling's up, we're gonna put all the vines and ropes and other kind of toys for Drogo to be able to climb all over. We want him to really have a lot of kind of mental enrichment in this room. But for now, I think I'm gonna have to secure these branches so that when Drogo climbs on him, he doesn't fall off. Bella, hey baby girl, I love this animal so much. And I tell you what, it's been a while since I've traveled and when I travel all the time, I miss my animals, in particular Bella because she's so important to me, but I miss all of them. And the truth is, is that guys, it's been close to a year since I've traveled. You know, since last February is the last time that I was down in Texas and I haven't been anywhere. I haven't been away. I've been here every single day. And you guys know that uh, I've dealt with some anxiety over that time, some pretty massive anxiety. And over the last couple days, I feel a little bit more anxious than I had been. I've been getting so much better over the last month or so, uh, but my anxiety is a little up, and part of that is because I'm gonna be leaving and going on the road for the very first time. You know, you get comfortable, you know, you get here, you're around your animals, you're around all the comfortable environment, and now all of a sudden, I'm gonna be on the road, right? I'm gonna be kind of going and, of course, missing animals like Elvis here that is just walking around saying, hey, what's going on? I mean, it's gonna be hard to be away, but it's a good test for me because you guys know that just when we get back only a few days later we're supposed to be leaving on a 13 day cross country trip hitting a bunch of cool animal places along the way and I tell you what it's uh this is a big test to be able to head out drive all the way to Florida almost a 20 hour drive get my guy Drogo spend some time at Gatorland and then drive back and uh it's uh it's exciting but I'm not gonna lie to you my anxiety is a little bit up but hopefully when I get on the road things are gonna be amazing and I'm gonna have a really good time because hey maybe this is just what I need you guys know I used to travel all the time so maybe what I need is to get away at least that's what I'm telling myself still have a little bit of work to do on the basement before I leave and then a lot of work when I get back again this is the green room sitting room hasn't done a whole lot we cleaned it up a little bit but we're gonna be putting the doors on 
on the Kluberd room here tomorrow actually and then ultimately we have to put some more lighting in and then actually a cooling system to cool things down because as soon as I get back we're going to actually move the Kluberds down into the Kluberd room which by the way now you see the whole aisle way of the Kluberd room kind of done and uh, again we're going to add some more lights just to brighten things up but during brumation it'll be dark in here obviously so we have to add a cooling system get the doors on tomorrow so as soon as we get back we can get the Kluberds down here and get them sleeping uh, again just the doors go on tomorrow this will be the new Caledonia room over here you're starting to see it a little bit more when now that it's still got a little bit of junk on it and then the door here back out into the hallway over here so as soon as we get back from this we probably won't be able to work that much on the green room or the sitting area until we get back from this long trip because to be honest with you we only have like three days back here before we hit the road again and honestly there's probably at least a week's worth of work between cleaning things up painting stuff putting the floor down getting all the decorating done so I don't see myself really tackling this but we do have to get the Kluberd room done before we leave so that that way when we get back we can get things right into brumation. Another thing I really need to do before I get on the road is get an inventory of all the ball pythons. Not only the adults that are already breeders but the new stuff that's coming up. Animals that are almost ready to breed or going to breed. So basically an animal like this beautiful champagne here that looks like she's probably about 1300 grams. She'll probably go into the kind of probable breeding thing. So I basically just have to get a list of all the females, all the males, all the potential breeders so that I can start putting breeding schemes together when I'm on the road. I mean, take a look at this banana super chocolate. Oh my gosh. This is a first year breeder for us, so he's definitely going to be a really stud animal, as well as this pastel camo banana as well. This is basically the pastel Barney ball python. Again, I know it's not purple, guys, but listen, genetically, it's got a lot of really cool stuff in it. So I have to get a list of all of those animals together so I can start putting the breeding schemes together. What males, what females I want to breed together, because as soon as we get back from this long trip, we're going to have to rearrange all the males and females and actually start breeding. I typically start breeding about the second to third week of November. So we have to have all the schemes together so that they're ready to go so we can get males and females together. Because one of the things that happens, if you don't breed early enough, females might start growing follicles. And if they don't get copulated, they'll actually start sucking follicles up. So timing is really important. The fact that we've started to increase food now, that means that follicular growth is probably going to start happening relatively soon. A lot of the females look like they're in really, really good shape. So the fact fact is, is that we need to get males in with them within a month, which means if I don't have the breeding schemes and rearrange things, I'm going to be in trouble. So that's the other thing I have to do before I go, get an inventory of everything that could potentially breed down here. And speaking of breeding season, we're still hatching ball pythons. We haven't got around to cutting eggs in the last little bit. So this clutch all pipped on its own. And this is actually a bunch of mimosas, which are ghost champagnes and of course ghosts. So this is a beautiful little mimosa here. Unbelievable. And then this is just a little ghost hypo ball python, but we have a bunch of heads sticking out. Looks like the majority of these are going to be mimosas, which is good because it should be about 50% mimosa, 50% ghost. And uh, it looks like we only have the one ghost and everything else in the egg. Ah, it looks like that might be a ghost right there, but everything else in the egg looks like it's going to be a mimosa. So that's pretty good odds. And then we actually had this clutch again that I didn't pip out. We have two more eggs. We can see one slit right here and this one isn't even slit. Looks like we start to see some like egg tooth here. So I'll probably take a razor blade, just slice this egg. But this was actually a banana and she pinstripe that was bred to a normal. And again, we have a couple enchies here, really beautiful enchies. Then of course we have some beautiful enchi banana pinstripes right here. This one, this one here, and then just another little enchi banana pinstripe here. So really beautiful clutches. Then even a normal banana here. Don't know what's in these last two eggs. So we still have clutches hatching, even though we're gearing up for the breeding season. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna miss these guys so much. So I have to do at least one more feeding of these guys because they're so absolutely incredible. There's so much fun. Come on, guys, let's go. Here, up, 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 up. Come on, up, up. There you go. Up over here. Come on, up, 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 up. There you go. There you go, buddy. Boy, I tell you what, I am going to miss these so much. Come on, guys, let's go. Up, 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 whoop, whoop. Up here, up here. Good job, guys. Up here, up here. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. I, there's so much fun to feed. I mean, I get so much enjoyment out of them. It's definitely gonna be a bummer. Don't get me wrong, the new ones we will train up really quick to get them to do the same thing. They won't be quite as incredibly athletic as these big guys are. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. I love you guys so much. You guys are so amazing. One more, come on, up. Who can come up to see me? There you go, buddy. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Okay. 
<laughs> tell you what, but it's gonna be awesome. Getting new ones are gonna be cool because we can train these guys up the way we want to. What are you doing, you silly? I know, I know, little baby. And they're gonna live a great life down in Gatorland for sure. They're gonna have lots of room and they're gonna be super happy. So, oh, there you go, buddy. Come on back in there. <laughs> I'm gonna miss these guys, they're amazing. Two days to go, guys, and we leave. Please send me as much positive energy as you can because it is the first trip. I'm a little stressed out, but it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna take you guys along on the journey. It's gonna be amazing. Getting alligators, getting a slug. What, what, what more can you ask for? That's right. If you enjoyed this video, here's a playlist right here that I think you'll enjoy. If you watch these videos, believe it or not, it helps my channel with click the rate. Please do that. Up here, you can subscribe to my podcast channel. I hope you're subscribed over here to this vlog channel. Please turn those post notifications on to all. Have a wonderful day. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.